He's got a very extreme position. J.D., you called rape inconvenient, right? If you had done your job, she would have never been raped in the first place. Do your job on border security. We should make sure that none of the extremists get to the United States Senate. Every single time he gets an opportunity to stand up for Ohioans, he chooses to bend the knee to his own party. I didn't start a fake nonprofit pretending like I was going to help people with addiction like J.D. Vance did. So I've been endorsed by the statewide fraternal order of police uh, because during the rioting a couple of years ago, Tim Ryan threw these guys under the bus. Ohio needs an ass kicker, not an ass kisser. Some of the highlights or lowlights, depending on how you look at it, from the Ohio Senate debate last night between Congressman Tim Ryan, Republican J.D. Vance. This Friday, Georgia Senator Raphael Warnock will take on Republican candidate and football great Herschel Walker right here on News Nation. New polling from Emerson College and our partners at The Hill. Warnock with a slight edge, 48 46. Georgia Lieutenant Governor Jeff Duncan with us now. Uh, you going to vote for Walker? <laughs> oh, boy, jump into the deep end of the pool, Leland. Uh, look, you know, we just I'm, get right I'm, to I'm it. struggling like I'm struggling like a lot of other folks here in Georgia, hardcore conservatives like me. I've got a voting record. I've got uh, a whole product of work that says I'm a conservative. Uh, I'm not voting for Raphael Warnock for 96 percent reasons why he votes with Joe, Joe Biden. But, uh, you know, I want a real conservative that knows how to get up and, and fight for real conservative causes and knows the issues and, and doesn't have to defend his past every minute of every day. And that's the problem with this race right now. Yeah. You know, it should be a, a proxy war on, on Joe Biden's record and failed leadership. But instead, it's about a, a you know, a past that, that uh, can't go away. Yeah, well, it's probably the reason that you've got a 10-point spread or so between uh, Brian Kemp, the Republican governor, and Stacey Abrams uh, versus Warnock Walker, uh, just in terms of candidate uh, quality. Uh, you talk about the issues with, with Herschel Walker, which is the charges that he uh, paid for a girlfriend's abortion, a uh, woman who was also the mother of one of his children. Uh, just in the past couple of hours, uh, Warnock's Ebeners Baptist Church, where the senator was a senior pastor, drawing his salary, generous $7,400 monthly housing allowance, has moved to evict disadvantaged residents from an apartment building that he owns. Um, and then Walker turned around and offered to pay those people's rent. I I'm wondering if either of these issues are going to really carry the day. Well, I think that's the problem, uh, you know, and it's not just in Georgia. It's, it's in other places around the country. I mean, look, I, I know most folks I talk to in Georgia are scared to death what this economy is about ready to do. I mean, how many triple digit down days do we have to have on the on the stock market? Uh, 401ks are, are getting sliced up. Folks are now genuinely worried about maybe getting laid off uh, all kinds of disasters around the world. I mean, that, this is really heavy stuff. But yet we're going to elect a U.S. senator here in Georgia and other states on just all this superfluous stuff that's out there that is 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 not actually solving the problem. And I, I, uh, no, you know, I, I, it's hard to watch. I, I hear you. And, and there's so many states where you could say, gee, from both sides, uh, couldn't we have better candidates? The problem is this is America. You got to pick between one or the other. Um, I noticed you didn't exactly answer the question. What, what do you tell friends who come to you and say, look, I just cannot you know, vote for Herschel Walker for all the reasons you laid out, but I do not want a Democratic-controlled Senate. Well, he's got four weeks left. My hope is that he figures out a way to answer all the tough questions and make everybody feel like he's got it together well, and he pigs, can move forward and he understands the policies. Well, could also fly in the next four weeks, sir. <laughs> well, look, that, that's, that's the hand we've been dealt with. And, and Leland, that's the problem, right? Yeah. People have not taken this serious enough. We didn't have a primary in this state. We had an endorsement by Donald Trump. We had a football star that showed up and, and, and now is going to represent the Republican Party. And, and this has got Trump's fingerprints all over it. I mean, how many yeah, times no, that, do we that, have to get burned by Trump as Republicans in this state? You no, know, it, it's, it's very true. It was not its primary. It was a coronation. Um, and, and nobody was willing to, ch to challenge Walker. Um, which which says well, a lot. There was a couple I, of good, I, there was a couple of good candidates there. Yeah, no, there there were, but in, in terms, there nobody nobody actually could could get any traction. I got to get to this. We saw it on your Twitter account, and we want to know the results. Uh, another pregame meal for Ryder at Waffle House before his golf grudge match with his older brother uh, in Athens. Uh, the results of the grudge match were. Uh, I think Ryder was on the losing team, but, you know, I had two sons in the gig, but uh, it was match play. But right. I will tell you, uh, uh, rumor has it Ryder chipped one in from the bunker. Ooh, all right. Well, uh, Ryder's on my team if you guys ever need a fourth, all right? The kid can play. <laughs> I love it. It's good to see you, sir. Thank you very much. and ha Happy anniversary. Have a great trip.
Best to your wife. Thanks, Leland. Yes, sir. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.